Hey everybody, Ann here. Just got up and haven't even brushed my hair. Haven't even had my coffee yet, but I've made coffee. But it rained all night last night, and so I want to see if the water collection system held up and how much I got. I just put this little thing that I had used when I was filtering water into it underneath the roof, and it is full with very, very clean water. So let's take a little walk over. Well, it looks like it's still intact. Oh my goodness, it's so muddy out here. Yep, it is completely full. 100% full. So, I've got a ton of water. Yeah, it looks like there's quite a bit of sediment that made it through. Um, it must have been coming down pretty hard last night. So, yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and use that. I'll probably do laundry today with that. Just maybe let the sediment settle all the way to the bottom and just use this stuff off the top. Do some laundry. Right on. Let's take a closer look at the sp uh, not spinach, lettuce. And yep, yeah, it's coming up really. There's one there. There's three there. Two there. Several more. And it looks like there is a ton of them coming up all over the place. And I don't think it's like a weird seed or grass coming up because if it were, then it would be over here where the spinach hopefully will start growing. Let me see if I can show you one of these little seed things. That, um, see that right there? I don't know if you can see it, but it's a little seed from something, so I've been picking those out. But, yup, my lettuce is officially growing. Once they get bigger, I'll thin them out. But they are just literally popping up all over the place, so I'm so, so happy about this. I am going to finish this raised bed. I am going to put the mesh on the bottom. And I am going to do what people have suggested, line the bottom with sticks, then grass and uh, leaves over that. I don't have the soil yet, but at least I can get that much done. Right on. In the meantime, I'm going to make some breakfast. I chopped up an apple, put about a quarter cup of sugar and a teaspoon of cinnamon in it. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to let it sit and kind of combine for a while make little breakfast burritos with some fluffy flour tortillas. God, I can't talk. I'm so tired. I mean, I literally just got up. So, yeah, let's see how this turns out. There they are. Now I just need to add them to the hot oil in my cast iron skillet. Mm, let's get these babies fried up. I bet you they're going to be delicious. Got them flipped over. Got distracted there for a minute. Had to change the propane tank. So, a couple of them got a little dark, but that's alright. They'll be just fine. There they are on the plate. I'm going to let them cool for a little bit and douse them in cinnamon sugar. And there they are, all done. Look at poor Betty. She's over here just wanting some so bad. Let me take a little taste. See what it tastes like. Mm-mm-mm. Good, good. Yeah. Can you see that? This is delicious. Very good. All right, Betty, I'll get you some too. Let's see if Betty likes hers. Yeah, I believe she does. It's delicious, isn't it, Betty? <laughs> God, I love her. Well, I don't have anything growing in here yet, but Look at that. I've got a big fat slug right there waiting for something to sprout up so it can eat it. I'm getting it out of here. Got the screen in. Looks pretty good. Here's the first layer. I didn't know how many sticks to put down there because I've never done this before. But I just got a bunch of different kinds, different sizes. I don't know. I think that's enough. I might need to spread them thicker, but... I don't know. I'm just going to go get some leaves now and then put that on top.
You know what, guys? I'm going to cut this video here because I want your advice. Should I add more sticks and twigs and branches and whatever before I add more leaves? And I just need to know how thick it needs to be on the bottom. Remember, this bed is only it's about 11 inches tall. So let me know if you think I got enough sticks in there. And then I can start putting some leaves in there. The leaves are all wet. I don't know if that makes a difference. But I wanted to be able to kind of crumble them up a little bit. So they need to be a little bit dry for that. And I didn't want to use all the leaves in my composting toilet because I need those. So um, just let me know if you think I've got it set up right. If I need to add more. If I need to take some out. And then how much leaves I should add. And then I'm going to add the soil. I haven't got the soil yet, but I'm going to go to the store tomorrow. So... Um, just let me know. That's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.